welcome. I'm at SEMA in Las Vegas. Now, SEMA, in case you don't know, stands for Specialty Equipment Manufacturers Association. Kind of a dull sounding name for what is a wild place. This is the world's biggest automotive expo of parts, accessories, factory back stuff. It's all here. Okay, so we've got massive halls, multiple expo sections. At the moment, we're kind of in the tyre, the wheel kind of zone. So all the tyre companies have lots of really cool specials to kind of showcase the best of their rubber. This thing, crazy, lightweight, tubular frame, open wheel thing, Toyo. This looks like an enormous amount of fun. Exocet, set, very cool. This is the sort of stuff you see a lot of at SEMA. Very cool, it's the Dodge Challenger Hellcat version. In this instance, slammed air suspension, here to showcase massive Verde wheels. Matte paint, nice. Classic Porsches on the Pirelli stand. Pirelli are kind of excited that they've just launched a range of tyres perfectly suited to this kind of car. N-spec, they say, exactly like the original equipment. This thing is just so beautifully restored based on current market values. I'm going to say nudging a million bucks. Get in now, folks, while the market's down. This is the other thing, guys, that SEMA is nuts for. Everything, super wide body, carbon, massive wheels, splitters, over the top. Um, lovely slogan on the sign. Living in peace. I'm not sure if the neighbors are going to agree with that, but hey, it's a nice thought. This is the other thing at SEMA that will blow you away. Just how big the market is for truck related stuff. We've got specialists in full chassis components, everything beautifully engineered. Immaculate build quality, all powder coated, anodized, massive lift kits, monstrous wheels. It's like if you're not running 24s, you're not even in the game here. My only problem is I'm still trying to figure how you get into the thing. one for all you Versace fans out there. When I first saw this, I thought it was kind of like a pressed metal finish, but it's not. It's actually a paint. It's all hand engraved. I'm told that there is six months worth of continuous work in this thing. Customers cars run at 300,000 US dollars. Or, if you want to drive this one off the stand, 600 grand. Now this, guys, is one of my favourites. Very cool mashup of the 71 Charger mixed with some current Challenger parts in terms of headlights, chassis and so forth. But I guess the main thing about this car is that it's a showcase for Mopar's new range of crate engines. So what we're running here is the 392. Basically what they talk about is a plug and play installation. All the wiring harness, ECU, all the important bits are just ready to go. It drops straight in. So there's a huge market for this amongst the enthusiasts of old stuff. Well guys, it's getting on lunchtime here at SEMA. That means it's time for me to go and eat a burger the size of my head because we are in Vegas, baby. So until next time, see you soon.